Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and today I'm testing the GTX 1070 uh, on Arc Ascended with the lowest settings. Guys, by the way, I'm using a bunch of new codes that I found. I will leave everything in the in the description for you guys also to use. But yeah, guys, leave a like on the video already, man. Really means a lot, but let's go into the game and see how it runs. Are you tired about the Windows activation message? Scroll down to the description and click on the first link. You can get the Windows key for as low as 8 euros and 99 cents and use the code GAMESUP for 10% off and get activated in seconds. So guys, this is not an ATP on the lower settings as you guys can see when i look this way i get less frames but uh, if i look this way i will get a little bit more i will go that way but yeah just so so you guys know it depends on where you are you can get more or less frames but yeah let's go up here <laughs> see if i can make already my let me see yes sir let's make this already and learn the edge okay <clears throat> let's go so performance is is okay now with, with the codes i've made a 1070 video with the codes also but not all of them i only had like uh, two or three codes i think it was two codes it was the clouds one and the, the um, shadow quality zero both of those codes i used on the last video but now with these codes i get a bunch more frames though i think i was getting like what maybe 45 frames 40 maybe now i'm getting like 60 50s it depends on where you are of course but it's generally it's like a good uh, a good boost in general so yeah pretty nice some of the codes look like they don't change anything but i just use them anyway because yeah i've heard people say it's good so i don't know and and maybe i i mean maybe it, they don't change anything because there are, are already some setting that already places that at zero but just to to make sure i will activate it anyway but yeah as you guys can see 45 frames now it really depends on where you are but performance in general is pretty nice uh as you guys can see also the cpu usage is fine though we're only using 18 percent of the cpu though cpu is not is not a problem here if you have a worse cpu than mine you might have a little bit of a problem though not gonna lie but yeah in terms of ram we are fine too we are only using 10 gigabytes most people have f16 already so i think that's that's fine i guess okay gpu power is normal it's basically basically at 100 percent um and yeah vram we have eight we with this card we are using only only six gigabytes so we are fine actually vram is not a problem in this game uh, yeah in in this game in general i mean of course if you go to the maximum settings with frame generation I haven't seen it going to like 16, but I think I've seen with my 4080, uh, I think I've seen it going to like 14 or, or, 20, or, or 13 gigabytes, sorry. But yeah, let me, let me see if I can just go down there. I need to drink some water though. <clears throat> clock speed is normal though. Everything is normal. Of course, the, um, the clock speed and the memory and the memory speed might differ a little bit though because there are other 30, uh, 1070s with different specs and stuff but no, in general like it's almost everything is almost the same though you can if you have like a better 1070 you will get like what maybe three more frames so it's not something crazy it's just basically the base overclock of it you know the the base clock i mean if you want you can also overclock your uh, your gpu and cpu i'm only doing it like stock no no overclocking because i don't think it makes sense you know what i mean like recording with that now because most people will not do it and if people don't want to do it like the difference will not be giant so yeah but if you want to do it you are you are free to do it the thing is uh on the old arc the arc survival evolved i remember when i overclocked my my 1070 i would i used to have like a bug that the game would crash only on the main menu like sometimes so i had to like join join the server quick <laughs> so it didn't crash but in game it was like no problem so yeah just keep that in mind i don't know if it can happen here too but yeah. this is now 2k guys as you guys can see we lose a little bit of the frames though that, that we had but uh, not a little bit actually quite quite a decent amount though maybe like 20 right here we get only 25 frames damn that's crazy though if i look that way or if i look this way look at this 90 frames <laughs> It really just uh, depends on on what you're doing, of course. I don't know. Maybe this area is also a little bit more demanding, though. That might be the case too. But as you guys can see, it's still. I mean, it can still be considered play, uh, playable, though. You can play like this, no worries at all. 
but I will just go with NATP. Uh, I'm really looking forward for them to release FSR. I think FSR will be able to bring some of these old cards to, to another level though. Maybe like get us like 10 FPS boost, I don't know, it depends of course. But for example, at 10 ATP, uh, if, we, if you, we were using FSR on quality, I think it would never go below 60 frames. Or if it went below, it was like not something crazy, you know? It would go back quick. <laughs> Bro, come on, just stop coming after me though. These ants or whatever they are. <coughs> Average FPS 38. What is this? There's a baby Dilo. What happens if I take the egg? <laughs> Bro gets mad. Let me eat the egg then. Who cares about the Dilo? Is this a small tribe server? No, it's a normal one. Okay. I didn't even notice it though, to be honest. CPU usage went down even more compared to 1080p though. VRAM is, uh, not VRAM though, v uh, RAM is basically the same. I think it didn't change, maybe like 400 megabytes, I'm not sure. VRAM went up a little bit too, I think by 300 megabytes, something around that. <coughs> well, yeah, the problem as you guys can see is basically the GPU and the game optimization. The wh when I say the problem is, is the GPU, like, uh, I mean that the game not being well optimized compromises the GPU usage here, as you guys can see. Of course, the GPU is kind of old too. Like, w we also have to to consider that. Can I jump here? Ah, uh, come on. We also have to, like, uh, consider that the, G the GPU is also actually kind of old. But it can still uh, perform decently, I guess. Let me just... Wait a second. Let, let me get a thumbnail here. Oh. Like this. Nice, okay. No, maybe like this. <laughs> okay, nice. Let's go. Take out the backspace. Now, um, about like big bases, big like uh, a, lo a lot of diners like at the same place, like breeders and stuff. Is it going to lag more? Probably. And uh, like in big fights and, and stuff like that. But that's something that... I'm not able to test now, of course, and maybe not soon, but yeah, I think it's something for, for you to also consider, because I remember uh, at Ark Survival Evolved, if you were like on a giant base, bro, the FPSs will just go crazy, like, you, you could have the better GPU ever, like, the, the game was just not optimized well. I think with Unreal Engine 5, that is going to be a little bit better, because I think it had to do uh, a bit with, like, the polygons, you know, the... Um, uh, with the way that they were being generated because a bunch of titles around a bunch of animations you know so I think it's something that I I hope it's going to, it's going to be fixed now at least a little bit okay because of course there's there, there's more stuff there's more leg that's fine but you know not so so big of a difference like uh, on Ark survival level though it was crazy but yeah guys, this is the end, of the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.